My name is Les Anderson. I'm the farm manager for Hamish Morrison Farming Limited. We farm 2,500 acres here in the Scottish Borders. We are situated halfway between Melrose and Kelso. I've been the farm manager here since 1982. For the last 16 years we have been using class combines. Started off with 480, are now on a 770. We've had everything in between. Uh, well, 16 years ago, uh, we had two combines. We wanted one big combine, a reliable one, and at that time, our, the class had a combine that we were really interested in with the system that we were interested in. Uh, its reliability, its build, seemed to be better than the rest in the market at the time. Our second class, we went for uh, TT tracks, which uh, in our land here, which is quite light, not only helps us in the wet seasons, but in dry seasons when we have uh, quite steep hills and that, these tracks will take us up these hills uh, without spinning. It makes a big difference to us to keep our forward speed at all times. My name is Neil Ramsey, I'm the farm foreman here at Hamish Morrison Farming. Uh, I was employed here in 2005 and I was employed to drive the 580. Uh, great combine of, and it was a big step up. This actually coping with the volume of straw that we have here and the really copes with the volume. Scottish conditions, it worked well. So from 580 we stepped up again to a 580 plus. Very similar machine but we went for the bigger header this time and we didn't find that we were losing any forward speed we going to the bigger header. It was coping with the the output was just there. We moved on to a 760 machine which had the jet stream for the first time that I was working with that. I noticed a huge sample difference in this machine. Uh, dynamic cooling on this machine kept the machine cooler, actually kept it cleaner, kept the debris off the top of the, the machine, engine bay and things like that. It was a lot cleaner than I find in the 580 Plus. Uh, performance wise we've actually upped the acres, it was increasing all the time for the combine so the, the 760 it was doing what the 580 did. So the latest machine that we've got now is the 770, it's uh, a very powerful machine, we've got some very steep ground here and things like that. I can unload on the go, whatever the conditions sort of thing, climbing hills, downhills, any time I want because the power is there with this machine now. I feel I've got the confidence that I can stick a spout out and I'm not going to get beeped up with the, with the power loss. Uh, we've got Cruise Pilot on this machine now. Uh, actually gives me confidence to go into the field, press the combine into Cruise and concentrate on other things to let me do more of the combine settings, let the combine take control of forward speed, work away at it. It's a good system. On the new combine we've also opted for the 4D side of things because we've got some undulating ground here, side slopes and that, and if it can keep the combine going at a constant speed for more periods through the day, that's what we're needing for output. And on the new system again, we've got the class steering system built in with this, and I think for productivity with this steering now, it lets me get back to combine settings if I'm not watching the side of the header all the time, trying to watch the header, do the combine, it just lets me relax a wee bit more and get more out of the combine because I'm not steering it at the same time. Uh, also in the new machine we've got a sort of prototype series header. It's got the middle sensing bands on this header for the undulating ground that we run here. It actually it's keeping me from off the deck a bit better. It's keeping things flowing in easier. No filler plates to add for the oil seed rape which could be a plus, it could be a quick turnaround because the seasons up here are very catchy. We sometimes need to go in oil seed rape at a drop of a hat and if I can change very quick that's what we're needing to do. It also has a bigger auger which I think is improving the flow of the crop into the combine. It's, you can set your, your knife at whatever distance you want and it just comes in, auger feeds in, it seems to be feeding really well into this machine. It's a split auger, split drive for the knife it just seems to be taking the strain away from a big 30 foot knife to splitting it into two halves, it makes a lot of sense.